do not apply for the TV lodge if you have not watched this video guys i'll be giving you some things to put in mind while applying for the TV lottery application and if you have not applied yet this is the best video for you to watch and make sure you watch it to the end hello hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you have not subscribed yet i am Ney, a Cameroonian youtuber and i wish and i make videos on I make videos on sterile processing, lifestyle, entertainment, and anything that catches my attention. And right now, the divilogy caught my attention, and yes, we are going to be talking about it. So guys, the first thing I'm going to talk about, like, while, when applying, or before you even think about applying for the divilogy, guys, make sure you go read the requirements, as I always say. And the first thing to put in mind is about the photo requirement. I have a video on this channel that talks about their photo requirement, or what is required required for you or the parameters of the photograph guys make sure you go watch that video because if you don't get the right photo you if once you cannot fail you 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 fail before you even get into the entry of the the draw or anything so make sure you go watch that video make sure you go watch that video on photo requirements the next thing to keep in mind too while applying for the TV lottery or before you apply for the TV lottery is that you have to make sure it's just one entry. What I mean by one entry is that you are the only one sending in an application. Guys, if you send in two applications, you will get disqualified because I've said that I've said in one of my videos that it's only one application. If you send in two applications, guys, it's fraudulent and you're already disqualified. Just one just one application should come in on your name. In case you have an agent that is applying for you, you no longer need to apply because the agent is already sending in an application on your behalf. So as I've said, make sure just one application is coming in your name. You also have to check um, the country of eligibility eligibility make sure if you are applying you fall within the countries that are eligible don't apply if you don't fall within an eligible an eligible country because guys you are not going to win before i keep going if you have not liked this video yet please what is the color of your problem make sure you like this video make sure you like this video another thing i also want to talk about is marital status this is the big one i want to capitalize on so many people make that mistake of putting in married okay let's just say for example you've been staying with the guy for so long and according to you guys are married okay or well, let's just say like the term says they have paid they have done small thing on my head small thing on your head it's not a document that says that you are married you need proof of your marital status you cannot say small thing now small thing is not what are you going to use to justify this small thing so you need a marital you need a marriage certificate to prove that actually you are married to this person. So don't click on married if you don't have a certificate to show for it. You rather click on you rather click on on married. I know so many people will be asking like, so does it mean that if you are married with some if I mean if you are staying with somebody, you guys are not married officially, but he has done some more thing on your head and he, but he has done small, <laughs> but he has done small thing on your head, and you guys have kids together. Means you guys cannot apply. You guys can apply. There is a way to go about that, and here is how: you have to make sure you get an affidavit of marriage. That I think with that, it's going to be able to recognize like the customary marriage because that small thing on that they did on your head is customary. Is customary marriage. That way, they'll be able to recognize that. Okay, fine. This person has lived with this person for this number of years. They have this number of kids. That cause that um, affidavit of marriage is going to be backdated to when you start to stay with that person. That is how it's done. So you don't 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 be scared that you don't have a chance. You do have a chance, but there is a process that you have to follow to be able to apply as married. Anyways, another, another point I also want to talk about is um, email address. So many make so many people make these mistakes of letting whoever is applying for them or letting the agent put in their email address no 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 that's a big no make sure the email address you're putting on that form or make sure the email address that agent is putting on that form is yours because if it might come a time when, when the results are out and since the 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 email comes to the since the email comes to the agent and he has your confirmation number and everything guys it's going to be difficult for you to assess your results so make sure you're putting in your email in the place of email and another thing address have there's a video of mine here that says if you don't have an address here is what what to do in countries that don't have email address make sure 
make sure you use your identity card there is a part there that says p.o box use the p.o box that is on your identity card even on your passport there is a place there that says p.o box make sure you use that p.o box that is on it so these are just the little things or the little things to these are the little things i want you guys to put in mind before applying for the tv lottery 2025 and last last point make sure your forms are complete guys incomplete forms will not be accepted so you have to put it in mind that your forms must be completed after filling it out go through go through the form and make sure that everything is completed all right all right guys this is all i had for you i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned one or two things in case of any questions remember to add down in the comment section thank you and see you on my next one bye